Money Talks is brought to you by the Heritage Family Credit Union. Your community, your credit union. Last week in Money Talks, Access told you about a new requirement at Fairhaven High School for the graduating class of 2018, a personal finance course. The class, while now mandatory, was a pilot of sorts over the past few years. During that time, teachers looked at what areas of personal finance resonated with students and tracked what they learned. Today, Savannah Book, a senior at Fairhaven High School, shares her experience in the class. I definitely feel as though I learned a lot from, I didn't know a lot about balancing checkbooks and um, credit card accounts and balances and all of that stuff. Um, but after the class, I definitely feel like I went up and I know a lot more about you know what goes into your checking account and what, how to balance your checking checkbook and all, all of the different things that go along with being out there and having different things with your dealing with money. Before students learn their first lesson in personal finance, teacher Kim Ransom quizzes the students on what they think they know. That class just, they get in here, they do a simulation, which is called an on-the-job simulation. So they actually live in part of the country and they have to maintain their financial literacy for three months and living on their own. And it's just amazing to see them the very first day and then at the end of the class where they've actually become. So it's, it, it, it's transformed some students. You know, I have students that have graduated and taken the class way back when it wasn't a requirement, and now they're getting their PhD, and they write me a small note and say, I really appreciate being able to know what that was all about, because no one's ever taught them that before. I definitely do. I think it should be a requirement. Um, definitely being in the class, I've learned a lot more, and then I went to the Financial Literacy Conference, and that taught me a lot as well um, about, you know, living outside of, after you go to high school, what it's like to have a job, what it's like to be in college in working at the same time and all those bills you're going to have and how to manage your money and um, yeah, I definitely think it's important. The class not only teaches kids about finances but helps each student design a personal portfolio they'll be able to access long after graduation. At the very beginning of the class we actually start with a student portfolio and we work from them creating their resume to letter application and all those things that combine into a portfolio and now we actually do it digitally so those students can always get to that and have that when they leave high school and then we actually bring in all the financial aspects of it so we do from budgeting to planning to buying a car to credit cards to consumer debt um, and many times parents even comes to parents night and they're like why don't you create a class for us because they're so important for them to get that right step in that right direction um, we even discovered that even some of our honor students don't take that class. So we're going to create an accelerated program for those students as well. A big eye-opener for some students is looking at what their own parents deal with every month in terms of bills. Some of the assignments are to go home and interview your parents. What did they learn about financial literacy? I interview their grandparents. What have they sat down and taught with them? You know, do they ever sit down with their parents and pay the bills? Do they know what bills are coming in? And it actually, we put it into perspective. What is, what is the cost for electricity right now? What is a car payment right now? How high is it? We actually have them set up their whole budget, set all that up, and it, it's, a, it's really a big open window. I value money a lot more now that I know how hard you have to work for it because I've been in that position. Um, I work very hard. I have multiple jobs at one time. Right now I have three. Um, I babysit for two adults, one being a teacher in the high school. Um, I work for a Mary Kay um, distributor. I'm her assistant. Um, I work six hours a week for her and I work at the diabetes center one day a week. So I definitely know what it, how it feels to have money and then what it is to spend it and then have no <laughs> money. So I definitely value money more. The part that I think is really um probably all important is that this is something that's usable and I think we need to make sure that skills today are more usable than in the past where we could kind of offset that with work and make sure that they could go to the farm or they could have GE and um, at least in these areas those are the major employers. Now the occupations happen to be so diverse and the independent and the independent learner is the most valued and if you don't have some high level of financial awareness there's almost no way to become successful. And we all know that just the first thing that hits you when you leave school is what are my bills and how do I become independent? How do I get an apartment? How do I pay for a car? And they're doing all that here. 